Today marks the 20th anniversary of Siphon Filter, the first game launched on February 17th, 1999 for the PS1 in North America. This third-person spy series primarily follows agents Gabriel Logan and Leon Zing through various terrorist plots involving a lethal virus known as the Siphon Filter strain. Now this franchise has an odd bit of history. First of all, by 1999, the PS1 was toward the end of its life cycle as it premiered in 1994 in Japan and 1995 everywhere else. Not only that, but the PS2 was set to launch just a year later in 2000. Despite that, Siphon Filter will receive two sequels on PS1, the first of which, Siphon Filter 2, was where I jumped in. Spy thrillers in both movies and games were at an all-time high in the 90s and early 2000s. This game was my golden eye. Also, fun fact about the third game, it was poised to release on September 25th, 2001, but because of the artwork and the fact that the game was about a terrorist attack on the US, it was delayed until November because of, you know, 9-11. I had no idea about that at the time. In fact, I just found out about that when I was researching rare PS1 games for an unrelated article a few months ago. I just remember seeing this on store shelves while Christmas shopping and decided to get it for my brother. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So after 2001, the old Siphon Filter Beast slept for a while until the Omega Strain launched in 2004 on PS2. I was initially pretty hyped for it until I found out the gameplay was radically different. It was made with Sony's online service in mind as multiplayer was a big focus. I didn't have internet in my house so that feature was already lost on me. Also, you play as a random agent you create and both Logan and Zing are in the background. After playing the demo from an official PlayStation Magazine preview disc, I was not sold, and reviews were not too kind for it either. Then we had another dry spell until the series returned with Dark Mirror in 2006 for the PSP. While it was a return to form in some ways, it also felt less magical. By this point, I had gotten into Metal Gear Solid, which I know that game came up before Siphon Filter, but I didn't discover that franchise until the second game came out on PS2. Point is, Dark Mirror and its PSP sequel, Logan Shadow, felt more generic to me, and unless you count ports or the multiplayer tie-in spin-off, Logan Shadow was the last game in the series. As it has been over 10 years since then, and the fact that original PlayStation series have been getting remasters like Crash Bandicoot and Medieval, many fans, including myself, would like to see Sony revisit this series in some way. Again, I cannot emphasize enough how much I adored Siphon Filter 2. Right now, the developer that helped start it all, Sony Bend, is hard at work on Days Gone, their first original IP in over 20 years. I don't know how that game is going to turn out, but we'll find out soon enough in April. That is, unless it gets pushed again. Regardless of Days Gone being good or not, I really do hope Siphon Filter can make a return. If you like this video and want to see more from me, then subscribe to my channel, and also check out my articles over at The Gamer. All these links and more are in the description notes below. Thanks for watching!